Hi there, my viewers, how are you doing this whole universe? Hope that this fine, I'm a rash man who brings follow through my own experience. And today we're gonna communicate with you about how to use machine learning fields to the different areas of our life. And what's machine learning and what are the, the tasks of machine learning? Machine learning, actually, it is the specific subfield of artificial intelligence. In intelligence, intelligence artificiale, in Italiano you can say it. Yes, but Buongiorno amici mio, buongiorno sviluppatore mio, yes, my dear developers. So, we have four different tasks in this machine learning. And what's machine learning? It is the specific, the thing that we use to create the specific systems of uh, artificial intelligence. They, uh, the developers actually do the specific things inside of it, and it is uh, what we call machine learning. It is when you create the specific, uh, the specific system that will predict, uh, predict results results as a person who is uh, teached in the specific area to predict results. For example, you are a person who who looks at different types of uh, the pictures, images, and you can say, oh, it is Leonardo da Vinci, it is uh, the Michelangelo, it is another, another painter and uh, drawer architect, in, uh, or somebody who drew, drew, have drawn this picture. Yes, you predict with specific, uh, a specific person stage of confidence. Uh, in, conf uh, in confidence we say confidence when we say uh, that it is maybe 98% that is made by this person. But actually 98 you don't say that maybe 98, you say that 100% it is here. Yes, uh, yes it is. And uh, artificial intelligence works the same way. With 98, 97% of chance you can say that yes it is 100% right. It is uh, like in, uh, in real world we say it uh, when we say see something, uh, it is uh, it is a porridge, maybe porridge on the table, yes, you can find porridge on the table, you you predict that it's already there, you know this, and uh, maybe, yes, maybe, maybe it was switched a little bit, because uh, some of uh, your friends maybe replaced it from one table to it to another. Uh, so, uh, but you know that this, uh, that, uh, that it was there, okay? And so uh, you say that 100%. Uh, you are not saying that maybe, hmm, maybe it is switched a little bit, 97% of chance. You say 100% that it's here. Yes, the same artificial intelligence says this. Some of the threshold of confidence we have in our, in our systems that will say that yes, it is there. Okay, everything is fine. So, machine learning, it is when we create the specific practices, specific theory and practices to create the systems of artificial intelligence. What are the algorithms, methods and things of this nature we use in there? It is this, this field. And inside of machine learning we have also neural networks and deep learning technologies. So, let's talk about our different types of algorithms and tasks that we have in machine learning. We have clustering, classification regression analysis and dimensionality reduction. Clustering, uh, algorithmi di clustering, <laughs> algorithmi di classificazione, also regressione, regressione, alg algorithmi di regressione, metodo di, metodi di regressione, regressione, v regressione lineare, non lineare, etc. And, and also we have dimensionality reduction, riduzio dimensionale or something like this. Okay, so we have class Clustering. clustering it is when we have uh, the specific, I imagine when that we have Cartesian coordinates, piano, Cartesiano, here it is, uh, x, uh, e, 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 y, x and y coordinates, yes, and uh, here it is, we have uh, the some points there, and you group objects by their similarity, yes, uh, 100, 101, 102 will be in one, in one uh, specific set, and uh, some of the numbers of uh, one million, Million, two, uh, one million, one million, three, one, one million, four. Th there will it will be another set of things, and uh, the same in the real life. Blue will be blue, yellow will be yellow. Uh, <laughs> something that uh, it is similar to blue will be in, uh, near the blue, and something that is similar to yellow will be near the yellow. Actually, and the same with uh, real uh, time things uh, like uh, some people who are playing World Warcraft, they will be in one set, and some people who are 
playing Sims, uh, Sims 3, they will be in another set. Some people who are playing the Lord of the Rings, they will be in another. So, it is uh, different types of sets that we create. We use different types of uh, clustering algorithms. K means, K means, Vaspas, K means, Sharp, Vaspas, K means, 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 we have clustering algorithms. They are all different, and we can use robust clustering algorithms. They are they they are so strong. They are not uh, affected by outliers that we have uh, somewhere there and here. Okay, and outliers that is uh, the data that is deviated from the main distribution of data, out of main distribution. Okay, so it is uh, clustering. Then we have classification task. Uh, clustering uh, tasks, by the way, it is sup uns unsupervised learning the task. Uh, machine does it. By by itself by using different types of algorithms. And sometimes it would be kind of mixed, but uh, actually mainly it is uh, unsupervised learning. So next it is our classification tasks. It is when we have input data and then we can say that it's uh, output data and label them uh, that pre it is predicting kind of uh, things. So we have uh, logic, uh, log uh, logistic regression, also, also we have uh, multinomial logistic regression here, support vector machine machines, Stütze vector machine, and, and also we have uh, different types of algorithms, algorithms like random forest uh, and ensembles of things uh, in this area. And uh, it is the specific uh, task of classification when we have already labeled data and we need to predict what will be the new data that we appear, that appears here. What is it actually? It, is it a dog? Is it a, is it a gato? Is, is it a cat? Yes, and uh, and then you predict. Uh, yes, it is a fox. It is a whale. It is uh, the specific book. Uh, it is a specific author of the book. Yes, picture of the author. Uh, it is a musical instrument. Strument, uh, strumento musicale. Yes, and uh, it is pianoforte, sassofono, sassofone, or maybe it is chitarra. Yes, il chitarra il mano. Yes, la chanta mi cantare. So uh, everybody, here it is a classification task. Classificare, classificazione. We do classification here. Regression analysis is almost the same. If we have the specific uh, different types of uh, functions, uh, yes, uh, they could be linear, linear regression, non-linear regression, and polynomial regression. That are uh, po like regressione polynomiale, polynomiale or something like this. They are actually doing the stuff in terms of the it's a regression analysis uh, when we predict uh, the next future results by the specific uh, things that we have already for example we have the stock market yes and uh, we have finance and uh, you kind of predict what will be next bitcoin will go up will go go a big uh, will go down some of the of the different types of stocks will be on the uh, upper or lower it is uh, bullish or bearish uh, market right now. So it is a regression analysis. We predict something by the results that we were given before. So it's almost like classification. Okay, next uh, it is a fourth uh, task that we have. It is uh, dimensionality reduction. Dimensionality reduction, it is the specific task when we have a lot of different variables uh, here, th 300D of our dimensions, and then we decrease them to two or three dimensions that we have. For example, we had uh, we had uh, a lot of different uh, di different uh, different variables that we were we were describing our world by. It is height, width, uh, also depth, weight, uh, and uh, longitude, latitude, altitude, uh, also colors uh, by RGB, RGBH, CLH, CLH, CVH, CV, CMY, CMYK, color uh, color models uh, described by by 
So we have a lot of data about things. We have post.x, post.y, post.z, well.x, well.y, well.z, I see that x, I see that y, I see that z, different types of uh, variables. Yes, we have categorical day, day, uh, categorical variables and post.x, post.y, post.z, well.x, well.y, well.z, I see that x, I see that y, I see that z. Uh, they stand for the alliance. <laughs> they stand for the, uh, yes, alliance. It is like from World Warcraft uh, for the horde. Yes, and uh, well, we it stands for the for the specific uh, position, uh, velocity, and acceleration. It is the, the data of uh, post punto x post punto y post punto z well punto x well punto y well punto z h e chi punto x h e chi punto y h e chi punto z and uh, it is. Uh, Posizione, velocità, accelerazione. It is uh, the specific uh, variables that describe our position, velocity and acceleration of the specific point in our life. So, it is uh, dimensional reduction. Uh, what, uh, what, uh, what does it do? It decreases the dimensions, a lot of different variables. Sometimes we don't need uh, some variables and so we use only the main, the main correlated data that will be super useful in this specific research. We use them. Ricerca. <laughs> it is a research in Italian. So, I learn Italian right now. So, I sometimes use different types of words from automatico, apprendimento, automatic intelligence artificiale field yes so we use uh, we decrease the specific uh, multi-dimensional field to different types of dimensions for for example from 3 300d to 100d from 100d to 3d to kind of visualize it in 3d or 2d form you can do this if you will do this in 2d then it will be in 2d 3d 3d okay so everybody right now you understand tasks let's repeat them clustering it is so when we group specific objects together, then classification, it is the specific task of uh, predicting what will be our new data by the, the based on the labeled data that we already had in our data set. Then it is, uh, we have also one more task, it is a regression analysis, we have the specific axis, uh, x, y, z, x, y, and uh, x, y, z, and then we predict what is the data by using previous research and we predict what will be next by precedential data we uh, we use it and then we say it and the fourth thing but not least uh, it is nice thing dimensionality reduction when we had uh, a lot of dimensions and need to make them nice and useful use only nice information so extracting only only information that we need only variables that we need it is uh, when we go from 100D to 3D, for example, or from 100D to 80D. Yes, we will use it. So, thank you a lot for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Improve style daily, go forward. Everything depends only on you in your life. You are a nice developer of machine learning and artificial intelligence. You are a nice engineer in this field. Machine learning engineer, artificial intelligence engineer, ingegnere, de, ingegnere del intelligenza, del intelligenza artificiale. Thank you a lot. Grazie. Molto grazie, grazie mille. You you are a wonderful person. Improve Saldele. Bye. See ya.